And we're back for another exciting episode of Online Pass Replay. This is, of course, the show where we look at old quizzes that I posted, uh, boy, five or six years ago. I'm joined today, uh, of course, by the, uh, the, the head of the Defunct Games News Division, the host of DGN, Lauren Risley. Say, say hi, Lauren. I mean, hi, first of all, but you say that like, of course, like you're surprised, like, is there something I should know? Like, you, you, you seem surprised that I would be here in a news-related capacity, Cyril. Is there something, is there something no, going on? No, no, no. Every week you deliver incredible episodes of Defunct Games News. And I think I think this week's going to be extra special. Do you have a maybe a preview of what we can expect on tomorrow's episode of DGN? I'm just trying to get into the studio at the moment. It's... it's Locked and there's a notice on the door that says "Do not open till Sunday." So I'm just trying to uh -oh. just trying to get in, and I'm respecting the wishes of the bosses without opening the notice. But after last <laughs> week being told that there was going to be a big announcement, I'm kind of nervous to be honest with you. I and understandably so. There's going to be a huge announcement that everybody should tune in for. Oof. It's going to be a big, big episode. Now, not by length, but by uh, just the importance to the channel. I think, I think you can agree with that, right? 100%. I mean, it could be that budget increase I've been asking for all this time, but you never know. It could just be, uh, you know, another weekly round of uh, Robert Patterson memes and uh, all good, <laughs> d delight, delightful things. But uh, I don't think that's what we're here today to do, though, is it? No, today we're going to get back to what we've been doing the last few Saturdays, which is uh, now five or six years ago. Uh, I, I created a new show that only lasted for like 18 or 19 episodes. And it was a it, it was a weekly news quiz, uh, quiz where I, uh, I looked at the news, I asked you some questions, hopefully you played along at home, and then at the end of the episode, I answered those questions. Uh, not a lot of people watched that back in 2015, and understandably so. We didn't have a lot of subscribers back then. Um, and so... I thought it might be fun, and we've been doing those the last few weeks. I thought it might be fun to compete against Lorne, to uh, to take some of these take some of these quizzes from back in the day, and see how much we remember about video game news from 2015. And uh, last week ended, or I guess it was last episode ended in with some controversy. You'd agree with that, right, Lorne? I do remember it like it was last week, Cyril. Um... I don't think we've settled it a hundred percent yet, but as far as the quiz itself well, goes, uh, how are you feeling about it? Now, of course, uh, I think I won, mm. but we 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 you know we tossed it we tossed it to the audience, and I think that uh, go on it it it, it hurts it hurts me to say this, but I think they all sided with you, Lord. You had one person yeah. supporting you. Shout outs to, yeah. to the support. However, unilaterally, yeah. the good folks yeah. of the Defunct Games audience, the gamers and gamers everywhere, have seen collective sense and made the decision that matters, which is that we drew. Again, you didn't lose. You just you guys, You guys, yeah, the audience did me dirty. We tied 3-3, <sighs> which was uh, bad for me. Pretty good for you. And <laughs> so now, do you think this is going to be, are you going to be able to capitalize on that tie and actually beat me this week? I feel like your ominous warning of it biting me, uh, the uh, the warning is merely that you are now motivated more than ever to uh, to try. I am. So I, I got to be on my toes. I got to make sure any compromises that I make for the sake of points are made expressly for the purpose of winning. And not for yeah. you. So um, the gloves are off, my friend. They're well and truly off. All right. Well, if this is the first time that you've watched one of these episodes, then uh, here's how it's going to work. We're going to we're going to watch and react to the video that I made back in 2015. We're going to pause it after each question, and we're going to kind of talk about what we think the answers are. We're going to write those down, and then, and then at the end of the episode, we're going to grade how well we did. On this news quiz, and we're going to find out if uh, which of us won, if if Lauren wins, or if I win, or if again it's it's going to be a tie. And hopefully, what will happen is that you, dear audience, you will play along with us. And who knows, maybe you'll even do better than we do. You never know. So that's true. That's true. You never know. So 
Uh, Lauren, are you ready to, to jump into this one is from August 30th, 2015. We're finally almost done with August. We've been here for like five weeks. Are you ready? Are you ready to take the news quiz about August 30th? Ready and raring to go, my friend. All right, let's let's do this. You dance and shoes on. Love the music. This is Online Pass, the weekly sure video is. game news quiz show. My name is Cyril Lachelle, and I'm going to ask yeah, you a is. series of questions based on some of the biggest news stories from the past week. It's your job to answer I each doubt question I even re recorded this at any point. So grab a piece of paper and a number two pencil, because this is a test. Got them. Hopefully, you in the audience, too, have the paper. Question and one question Meet one. Kevin Norton and James Stumbo. Oh. These two men drove from Iowa to Boston to attend the Pokemon World Championships. <laughs> oh, Why yes. did the Boston Police Department arrest Kevin and James as they oh. entered the Haynes Convention Center? Oh. <laughs> I was really hoping that was going to be a Pokemon-centric question, and it really sounds like it isn't. Damn. Well, look, I think everybody that knows me knows that I'm not a big Pokemon fan. Mm. I have, I've not played any of the... The the usual Pokemon games. I think the only one that I've ever played is Pokemon Snap, uh, which I I don't think many people consider to be one of the main Pokemon games. Do you? Th I mean, but you you Lorne, are a big fan of Pokemon, or at least you were. Do you think that's going to help you with this answer? Because I have no idea. I am, I'm racking my brain trying to figure out what the the right answer is. If if I know past Cyril, and I think I don't then uh, he's using the tenuous link of a gaming uh, news, uh, the, the tenuous link of gaming there to throw us off. I don't think the charges relate to Pokemon. Um, unless, no, I don't either. Um, uh, unless they're secret members of Team Rocket. I, I, and I don't see that happening because they don't have a Meowth with them. So um, <laughs> you, you get all those references, right? Yeah, I, I, yes. Totally, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I did see the the Detective Pokemon movie, so is, does that count? It does. Detective Pikachu. It sorry, does. One hundred percent. Ryan Reynolds has been a staple of the Pokemon universe for years and years. Sure. Um, <laughs> I I don't know what the answer could be here. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm thinking stolen goods. I mean, it's some goods, crime. But uh, okay. what are you thinking? Ah. Uh... You know, it seems like this is one that I should remember writing. But again, man, this was six years ago. I don't, it's funny how little I remember of of writing and producing these episodes. Uh, that's probably not a not a great thing. I'll probably have Alzheimer's by the time I turn fifty. Uh, <laughs> You'll still remember last week's quiz, though, my friend. <laughs> okay. What are we saying? I mean. If I have to make a guess, I think you're on the right track. I'm going to say that uh, maybe they stole a car to get there. I'm going to say stolen. I'm going to agree with you there. I'm going to say that they had stolen items on them when they tried. Because it's. Mm. I, I think they said something. Or, or did he say they were pulled over? I'm referring to you like you're a separate person now. Did you sure, say? Sure. Sorry. We can't rewind it. We don't have the technology to rewind the question. Well, I'm going to say stolen items, specifically stolen items. Okay. Pokemon related, seeing as they were going to a conference. So I'm going to say stolen Pokemon okay. items. Okay. All right. If it's a stolen car, you're not getting credit for it. Unless the car <laughs> is a Pikachu head, you can have the point. <laughs> All right. So stolen items, I say, uh, well, GTA. So, all right. All right. Question two. Question two. This week brought the first shots of Michael Fassbender playing his Assassin's Creed alter ego. In other mm. video game movie news, what outlandish first-person shooter have producers Ari and Avi decided to turn into a big-budget Hollywood film for Lionsgate? Oh. Uh, so this is 2015. Also, I'm, I'm sure people will note this. I think that it's pronounced Fassbender, not Fassbender. Indeed. Uh, so, you know, has... me from the past, uh, not as good at saying Fassbender as, as me in the current is. 
That's okay, we can we can forgive him for that. What we can't forgive though is that is a humdinger of a question. Are you mm. drawing well, a point? Okay, well we have a it's a first person franchise. First person And it, it it's we know that it's not Doom, because Doom has already come out as a movie by the time this this uh, quiz happened. First person? Uh... Yeah. See, my mind is immediately drawn to Hitman, but that's not a first person game, so nope. that's not no nope. that can't be it. And we had we already had a question about that last week, and so that movie, or the the last episode, so that the second movie, the even the rebooted movie of the the Hitman franchise had already either come out or at least already been shot. No, it had already come out because it it last uh, episode it bombed at the box office if mm. I remember correctly. So it can't be that. It can't be that. Uh, so it's not Doom, and it's not. Uh, and it, and it's not Hitman. Uh, I'm drawing a complete blank here, my friend. I have a couple of ideas, but what are you thinking? Can you like? Can you think of some first person games that you know you you might? Because I, I I do have some ideas. I'm, just, I'm trying to think more along the lines of I, I mean first person games uh, too generic to to name. So I'm thinking what move? And again, I'm drawing blanks because uh, now I really I really got nothing okay. I got nothing well okay I have it narrowed down now I know they had already done a Far Cry movie Uwe Boll uh, did that back a long time ago or a while back um, so it, I was thinking maybe it could be that because I know that they've that Hollywood's been kind of circling that for a while um, this was also around the time that Wolfenstein was coming back, and it would make sense to do a Wolfenstein movie. Now, I'm I'm also trying to remember the movies that have come out. That's the thing. He's and, a and big none budget, of, so I'm, that's why I'm right. thinking, like, I would have heard of a movie like that. But I don't... Oh, man, I yeah, uh, or maybe it's one of the Rainbow Six games, or like, I mean, like a Tom Clancy thing, or hmm, hmm. I feel already. I feel like we're failing this quiz. I feel like this is one of those <laughs> ones where we're both gonna go dull and immediately remember oh. that it existed because it's gonna. It probably didn't do all that well, whatever it is. All right, I'm gonna narrow it down. I, I'm gonna say Wolfenstein. <sighs> I'm not. I am not going to stoop to uh, to, to palming. Up. I'm going to pass because I I I don't think it's Wolfenstein. Uh, Wolfenstein, but I yeah, don't want to take the take your answer, and I don't have a good alternative for you. So I'm going to have to pass that one. I'm afraid. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see what happens. I, I'm going to be. I'm gonna be pretty. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty sour if it's uh, Far Cry because that's my second choice. Okay. All right. Question three. Question three. Question three. Already a hit on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, you would think that every Mortal Kombat X fatality would already have been located and uploaded to YouTube. But mm. this week brought a brand new kind of fatality. And the victim wasn't Sub-Zero, Scorpion, or Kung Lao. What long-suffering product did Warner Brothers Interactive finally put out of its misery? Past Cyril gave zero Fs. <laughs> what did they put out of his misery? Damn. What did Warner Brothers... Oh. Why didn't I watch this episode before to cheat? This could have been so much easier if I just cheated. Be easier for me if I wrote <laughs> the thing. Uh, th apparently that's not going to help me. <laughs> Uh, Warner uh, Brothers. Uh, all right. Misery. What did Warner Brothers put out of its misery? It's not a Mortal Kombat thing. It wasn't the P. I remember the PC release of it getting pulled for a bit, though, didn't it? Oh. 
because it was it ran yeah, really that and poorly. Arkham, that and Arkham both had had yeah real issues when yeah. they launched on PC. Yeah, and not a million days apart from each other as well. I remember them both having significant yeah, issues yeah. around the same period. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think is your answer going to be that they just gave that they finally just gave up on trying to fix the the PC version? Maybe, but I think you're probably more on the right lines with because I remember that they pulled Arkham from was it Steam? Yeah. I think that, and that was a Warner Brothers title, so yeah. I, I'm going to go with yeah. that. Okay, okay. But only because of the logic that I laid out, not because you suggested it first. No, no, you were you were on the right track there. I think. Um, so I'll come I, I can't, I'm not going to take that answer though. Oh, okay, what are you thinking? You see, the first thing I thought of was. Like like a toy line or something like you know like Skylanders, but I think that's Activision. Um, and I'm trying to think, was there another competing? No, it was the the one with the the spaceships was Ubisoft, and then Disney had one of those toys. So I don't think Warner Brothers had one of those. So that's not that's definitely not it. And I think, man, I think you're right. I, I think you're right, um, but I'm I, so I, I don't know. I this is gonna this is probably the first in all of these episodes where I'm I'm just kind of stumped and I don't want to take your answer. So I'm just uh, well, I'm in just fairness, gonna... you gave the Arkham Knight title. No, I, I I gave the Warner Brothers PC. I, no, I think you're on the right thing. So I'm not I'm not gonna take that. So I I think you're I think you're right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I don't I don't have an answer, but boy am I going to feel stupid here in a few minutes. All right. We're not doing well so far, so you and me both, We're brother. We're terribly. This is probably the worst episode yet. All righty. Maybe we'll all it'll all come around with question 4. Question 4. Question 4. This week the Penny Arcade Expo invaded Seattle. I was in there keeping up with tradition. Capcom announced another character for their hotly anticipated sequel, Street Fighter V. Mm. Look for Armika to make an appearance when the game hits stores in 2016. What does the R in Armika stand oh. for? What what, what, are you, what are you doing to me, past self? Uh, well, being a massive Street Fighter fan... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Uh, I got no ideas. Oh, Unless she's Russian, I, I love Street. Yeah, I love Street Fighter, but I, yeah, there there was a point where they started introducing characters, and I stopped paying attention to their lore a little bit. Mm. And oh man, oh Doctor Strife, aka Adam is uh, going to be really mad at me in this Screaming episode. Screaming at both of us, how do we not know this? So It's just a well, name okay. that we're after. It's a name. We know that it's uh, that it's a woman. So, but isn't, here's and it, we know that it starts with an R. Isn't there still contention over what the M in M. Bison stands for? Well... I'm not saying they're related. I'm just saying that in Japan, the the M Bison was what over in the West was was um, Balrog. Uh, Balrog, yeah. And so he it was clearly a play on Mike uh, Mike Tyson. Yes. M, yeah, it rhymes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there is still. I mean, I'm sure that in the lore they have established what that is. But <sighs> well, the the point I raise there is that in the lore, it's. As best I know, it's Master Bison. So could the R be some kind of rank? Is it Master or is it Major? Yeah, I think yeah, it probably is Master, isn't it? Oh, so you think, okay, so something related to rank. Maybe. Mm. Rare Admiral, maybe? Well, she's a wrestler. Rare Admiral, wrestler. Yeah. That's, of course, starts with a W. Um, Sounds like an R. Huh. All right. All right. Well, I mean, I, I, is there a play here to just guess female names that start with R? <laughs> I'm just going to guess Russian and hope for the best. Uh, okay, right, because Mika does sound like a first name. Because I, 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 got, I got, literally, it could be 
any word in the English language beginning with the letter. It might even be my last name for all I know. Risley. That just I'm just gonna go with that. Go with my last name and hope that Capcom really dig Risley as a name. There we go. It's a safe bet for a point. Russian. What are you thinking? Oh, I feel so stupid in, with these questions. No wonder the series didn't do well. I guess, uh, look, I, I am at a loss and I don't want to drag this out. So I'm just uh, I'm just going to write down Rebecca. I don't think that's right. I think you are probably way closer. But I do think you're probably right in the sense that it's not like a name, that it's uh, like a, a thing. I I don't know. I don't know, like a rank or something. <laughs> we uh, should we should just re-record this whole thing knowing the answers and uh, wow everybody. We would sound cleverer. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, of course we know that answer. All right, question five. Let's go. Question five. As you can see, Gabe Newell is happy. Mm. What okay. Steve Milestone made the managing director of Valve break out his funky dance moves? We'll get to the throwback question. Why were second. you using Dr. Dre? That's my first question. Mm. I'm, I'm wondering where that came from, unless that has something to do with the answer. I don't, I don't think it does. Still DRE, I think, is the, is the riff you were using there. Mm -hmm. Did he retain mm -hmm. the rights to his name? He's still Gabe. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I don't. We're, we're looking for a milestone. I don't think we have to be exact, but uh, we should probably try to be in the right ballpark here, or at least like going in the right direction. Uh, what What do you think? Uh, do you have any any ideas? Because I I have some ideas. Well. It something to do with steam presumably yeah 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 of course number of users perhaps like maybe concurrent views users or something like that or just overall users i i'm thinking that's probably because i know that over the over the past sort of five years or so the number of games released on the platform has increased exponentially Mm -hmm. So I would imagine the user base has got to have increased at commensurate rate to keep up with the demand, or at least mm -hmm. one would assume. You would hope, yeah. Yeah, you would hope. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I mean, there's a lot of shuffleware on there now. <laughs> indeed, which is why I'm thinking that it's it's probably user-related rather than how many okay. games were on the platform or how much money was made off the platform. Well, I'm glad that you went that direction because even though I had thought about maybe the amount of users or, or concurrent users or something like that. I was going the other direction that you had just alluded to, which is uh, that it's like they, they hit a certain amount of games. Right. Okay. I don't know. Like, I don't want to. And that's why I said at the beginning, I don't like, I don't want to say like, Oh, they, you know, they hit 10,000 games or something like that because I don't want to, I don't want to be wrong, but I, or at least, you know, because of the, the number, but I, I want to be vague enough where I say something like they they hit a milestone where they hit a certain amount of games. I think that's that's where I'll leave it. Are you okay with that answer? If I'm allowed to go with the number of users, you're allowed to go sure. with the number of games. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so we'll just write down number of games. Okay. Because uh, I, I think that, yeah, they, they maybe hit a, a, a like a round number or something like there. 10,000 games or something like that on the on the service. I think that's that's what it, 20 2015 It could also when, let's see. When did Half-Life 2 come out? Was that 2005? Cuz it could be the 10 year anniversary. No, nope, I'm just going to go with number of games. I was going to say that is that a good like 10 years and people are still on him about having not done a third. I think he's probably liable to get more hate than he is praise at that point <laughs> i mean they're never going to Hur make that third that hooray third 10 game. years since you've not made that sequel we all want like that seems and they're to be dicks the about go. it too oh they're very mean like about they're, it, yeah because like they're all man you're gonna get me into a rant because they're all <laughs> kinds of uh look there are all kinds of of games that end on a, a cliffhanger that never get the the resolution because either the studio goes out of business 
or the games didn't sell well enough to warrant it or something something like that. And that's frustrating, but at least understandable. When it comes to Half-Life 2, there's no excuse. Shades of it the 2015 sold well. Cyril here. You got to love it. Yeah, no, it it it, it sold well. Uh, you know, the company is still in business. They have the money. They're just actively not doing it. And don't don't come at me with Half-Life Alex, because that's, that's a prequel. Oh. You suck. You suck, Valve. Yay. Oh, you got to love when 2015 Cyril rolls up to flip everyone off before <laughs> driving off, screeching his wheels. you got to love it. <laughs> Screw you, Gabe Newell. But yeah. All right, I think, okay, I think... <sighs> Man, I hate to say this. I'm really putting all of my my eggs into the basket of this throwback question. <laughs> Likewise, by the looks of things, I'm not confident about a single one of these answers. Oh, I I, th- I think this is going to be the first the first quiz where we go zero zero. It's possible, <laughs> but let's let's see if the throw- oh this this quiz is too tough. Maybe the throwback <laughs> question this week is weird in that you predict something that happens in 2019 mm-hmm. and we've got half a chance. You never know. Oh my god, I I think I just remembered what the, the first... No, that can't be right. That can't be right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, here's the throwback so He's question. getting interference from the future now, ladies and gentlemen. And now, the throwback round. Come on then. Where I pull questions from round. classic game magazines. Brace yourself. The Brace. next corner's rough. It is. It always is. 14 years ago this month, Next Generation Magazine reported that Steven Spielberg had fallen in love with the Xbox. The famed director had just announced three games based on his then-new film, all exclusive to Microsoft's console. Oh. What Steven Spielberg directed movie Mm. were these games based on? I'm going to get one right. I'm going to get one right. (laughs) All right. Lauren, I'm going to let you go first on this one. Uh... But I'm going to write down my answer no, so that... This, yeah, it's one of those situations where I'm going to have to say pass before you get it, because I have literally no idea. Uh, well, can you think of, of any Spielberg movies? We can we can talk through this. We're not going to give you the right answer. But we can... <laughs> that was going to be my first question. Um, Spielberg movies, um, mm-hmm. as of 2015. Mm-hmm. Um, and you were playing Indiana Jones to be ironic because that's not the answer. Well, that is a Spielberg movie. But it wasn't after 2015. No, but remember, this is the throwback question. And this was, so this would have been in the the early 2000s. But it would have been for Xbox. And I don't remember yeah, the any original Indiana Xbox Jones. came out in 2001. Yeah, but I don't remember any Indiana Jones games no. coming out for the Xbox. Yeah, it, it, it I'll... I'll give you this lifeline. It is definitely not Indiana Jones. Oh, you can't. I, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna give you a clue. It's not the the Kansas City Chiefs. Like that's that literally gives me no information to work with. Well, um, it, it it marks one off. It's probably also not well, Jaws. Here's the thing. After last week's controversy, this is you taking your sweet revenge. So I'm going to gracefully and cordially say pass and admit defeat. Rather than argue with the ambiguity okay. of the question, like someone now, might okay. do. So come on then, let's hear your answer. This uh, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna look really stupid considering how like sure I feel about this answer. But I am. I remember this story. I remember this from Next Generation magazine that they reported that they they. They were really going to put a lot of effort into what at the time feels, at this point, feels like a really questionable uh, Spielberg movie to throw their support behind. And I believe the right answer is AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, Games? Which, again, yeah, I, I know. That seems like a, that seems like a weird choice. Considering that that's, you know, it's not really an action film and, you know, it, like the things that people remember about that movie. Now, I really like that movie. I know that that's one that's one of those Spielberg films that at the time, I think a lot of people weren't that into. It got somewhat mixed reviews and a lot of my friends at the time were a little little soft on it. However, I think that as people like as as people in my age group. Uh, got older, started to have kids and stuff like that, and then they revisited it. 
I think they it, it really resonates more now than it did at the time. And this is also one of those things because it was 2001. It was around the time that um, that uh, the 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 X the original Xbox was coming out, and that was one of the movies that was uh, affected, or it was going to be. Well, th- there was some debate about whether or not because 9-11 happened around this time, obviously, there was some debate about whether or not they were going to remove the World Trade Center from some of the shots in artificial intelligence. So I'm just, based on the the time, I it is I am 100% sure that it is AI artificial intelligence, even though something like Minority Report or even War of the Worlds, which I know would have been a few years later, like even those make way more sense. I don't remember them, but given that I don't have a, 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 even a modicum of a clue, it's worth yeah. you being as yeah. certain as you are, if only for the fact that you getting it wrong is one last little reprieve, hopefully, uh. for me. But <laughs> we'll see. I'm not wishing for you to fail. Uh. Mostly. All right. Uh, I mean, that would be that would be a funny conclusion to what has been a terrible quiz. Let's find out. Let's find out how we did. Let's, let's see. Here, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, put your pencils down, everybody. That was a bad edit the right quiz there. is over. Let's see how you did. I know you drew all that and filmed it badly. Kevin Norton and James Stumbo okay. were huge Pokemon fans. Uh-huh. In fact, the two men were part of the Master Division at the Pokemon World Championships held in Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, they're also fans of bringing uh... high-powered guns to peaceful gaming Oh, no! Yeah. Right before traveling from Iowa to Boston, James Stumbo, age 27, posted this picture on Facebook, along with the caption, Kevin Norton and I are ready for Boston. Here we come. <laughs> the Boston police took this oh, threat and arrested no. the two men. Finding a 12 gauge uh, shotgun and an AR 17 with hundreds of rounds of ammunition. Oh no! Oh Ooh. god. Oh boy, that went dark. That was. I thought, uh, you, know, uh, you know, because this is America, I did. The gun thing did cross my mind, but I, I worried that, like, that was too dark. Too dark. When you see them in court wearing camouflage. Yep, yep. Uh, you're not filmed with. Uh, with a tremendous amount of optimism. Um, no. The Facebook post, though, does it for me. Hey, here we come with a picture yeah. of crossed over rifles. Like, that is, yeah, that's not Wait, just... they were just just wanting to get caught. <laughs> you might even say that they were dark types. Yeah, mm. yeah there's a bit of mm. unnecessary forced levity to try and broaden the situation because it's grim <laughs> in here. All right, answer two. (laughs) Proving that Hollywood will never learn. Father-son power team Ari and Avi Arid announced that they would be bringing Borderlands to the big screen. Avi Arid is best known for his involvement in a number of Marvel properties. Sadly, his recent efforts have included two Ghost Rider movies, Bratz the Movie, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. There's no current information on when the movie will begin production, and no release date has been announced. Damn it! I was gonna get- I had Borderlands on my mind, but I thought, no, I covered that six months ago, so it can't be the same. Ah. But I mean, it just shows you sort of the gestation period of projects in Hollywood. Yeah. Where something will get- optioned and then you know six years will go by before they even you know cast or think about production and who is it is it uh eli roth is doing that right correct oh what a what a weird what a weird decision that is and it's got like a bunch of bunch of recognizable people too like it's is. Who's the, is it Kevin Hart is the claptrap or it's some comedian is the claptrap? The the one that took it for me is the character of Lilith. She's being played by um, a fairly prominent actress, but I can't remember her name right now. But people will be familiar with her because she's uh, she she's she was in a bunch. I think she was in Lord of the Rings. Pretty sure she was in a few other things as well. 
I can't remember off the top of my head, but point is that the cast are starting to come together now. Mm-hmm. And again, we're talking, well, by this point, nearly six years, well, five and a half years after you... Uh... Kate Blanchett. Oh, there you go, then. Oh, yeah, oh, and Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, no, it's I think it's Jack Black is the... Uh... Kevin Hart is in it, but Jack Black, I think, is they announced as the claptrap. Indeed. Just claptrap. Okay. What a weird... What a... <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll we'll see. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. That could, that could be fun. I I don't think of Eli Roth like I don't go to Eli Roth for great comedy, but mm, I'm so. opposed to it when I don't get an answer right. Now I'm opposed <laughs> to the movie. Well, I know I definitely did not get the next next one right because I didn't he didn't even have a an answer. So let's let's find out. Answer three. Come on then. After months of speculation. Warner Brothers Interactive has finally killed the perpetually delayed PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 ports of Mortal Kombat X. Oh. While disappointing oh. to the few gamers unwilling to upgrade to a new console, both Warner and High Voltage Software had been cagey regarding the details on the PS3 and 360 versions, and that was before the series of delays. Ultimately, this is a good sign. It used to be that Mortal Kombat games would get released even when they obviously weren't finished. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, so they bailed on a poor. Okay. Yeah, all right. I. You know what? I didn't even think that those didn't... You know what? Now that it, it does make sense. It does make sense. I. Well, again, we were both, <laughs> we were both woefully wrong. Still you were searching. closer. Still searching but, for a right answer somewhere. Oh, man, this is going to be so easy to edit because I don't even have to, like, change the little numbers next to our pictures. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know I'm going to get one right. Come on, Spielberg. Oh. <laughs> All right, answer four. This is the one where I said Rebecca. There's no right that's There's no nope. way that's right. <laughs> While not one of Street Fighter's most popular characters, our Mika has won over fans with her over-the-top style and... Uh, generous proportions. Mm-hmm. Yes. Her first and only appearance was in Street Fighter Alpha 3, where she was a pigtailed wrestler who idolized Zangief. Her full name is Rainbow Mika. Rainbow! Street Fighter 5 will mark only her second video game appearance. Well, unless you count this Capcom fighting evolution ending. Losing streak. While it may seem like Steam has an endless variety oh, of no. games to choose from, the truth is that there are only a few thousand. In fact, this oh, week no. marked a new milestone for the 12-year-old storefront. No. They topped 6,000. Yeah. That's up substantially from a year ago, when the total was less than 3,700. That may not sound like much, but let's compare it to the competition. EA's Origin Store counts just over 500 games in its library, while GOG.com boasts more than 1,200. Speaking of Steam, you can expect reviews of both Stasis and Rememoried to hit on Monday. Uh, don't ask me to tell you anything about either of those games because I do not remember them. Well, you know, it's <laughs> not, not a worse thing to get a couple of quick plugs in for the videos. That's what I'd like uh, to see. Enterprising Cyril. What yes, I that's don't... a that's a whole other quiz that you should do at some point, which is, hey Cyril, do you remember reviewing this game? And the answer is oh. probably going to be Nope. That would be funny. <laughs> like, you described this game as having what of something or other. Can you tell me what that what was? That would be, That's, yeah, that'd be fun. We should do that quiz that'd be at good. some point. Be <laughs> it's, it's funny because I, uh, not to sidetrack this, I mentioned uh, him earlier uh, with the Armika thing, who I'm sure he's screaming at the, at, the, at the screen right now about us getting Rainbow wrong. <sighs> but uh, Dr. Strife, Adam, he, uh, you know, friend of Defunct Games, uh, he just reviewed a game called, I think it was Clash Force. And, he's, and he showed me pictures and was like, hey, have you played this? Did you review this? And I'm like, no, never seen that. Well, turns out, turns out you I did. reviewed it. There you go. <laughs> I reviewed it back in 2017 and have no memory of it. Made a big impression, huh? <laughs> Again, Alzheimer's by the time I turn 50. <laughs> All right. Come on, Spielberg. You're going to help me get two right. Doesn't matter if come on, Spielberg. Me, but come on, bring it on. In 2001, Microsoft hoped Steven Spielberg's star power would help them win the war against Sony and Nintendo. They teamed up yep. with a director to bring three games to the Xbox. 
each based on Spielberg's newest film, AI, Artificial Intelligence. That's right, three games based on a movie starring a young boy going on a Pinocchio-inspired journey. Next Generation detailed AI Chaser, a flying simulator set in the same world as Haley Joel Osment and Teddy. All three games were canned when the movie underperformed, but these projects had failure written on them long before the box office totals came in. On a bright note, the story features one of Next Generation's most hyperbolic captions. Steven Spielberg's summer flick had better be good for the sake of the Xbox. <laughs> good grief. <laughs> I'm happy I at least got two right. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. No. You got two right, huh? Yeah, I got two right. Just two? How'd you do? Just the two, though? I mean, come on now. There were six questions there. You had six chances to get answers, and you only got two of them. Do you not feel disappointed? Do you not feel bitter I do yourself? feel a little disappointed. I should have remembered uh, Borderlands. I, why is You're that right. a game that I always forget? Like, that's a whole series. They have, like, four of those games. <laughs> well, I never remember those. All I can say is that having gotten such a low score, I think you should quit in protest. I really do. <laughs> I don't think that, I think that's such a low, measly, meager score. Yeah, you know, I don't think this quiz should count. I don't think... Uh... <laughs> this should not be part of the canon. No, I don't think so. I think, uh, I think we need definitive, <laughs> you know, strong answers to quizzes to retain credibility, and this one just wasn't a strong performance by... No. Um, by by one or both of us. Yes, um, I I agree. So yeah, you haven't got the score at the bottom of the screen, do you? I think at this point I probably do. Viewers, don't pay attention to the screen at the bottom of the uh, <laughs> picture you're seeing. Um, what you're seeing is a gross misrepresentation of my abilities and or knowledge of games. <sighs> Screw it. Congratulations, well done. Yeah. Two points. Well, well if it makes you if it makes you feel any better, right now I'm going to switch over to just us in the loungy area where we're, mm. we're just sitting and talking and uh, and congratulating ourselves for another successful quiz. Uh, we did not do uh, all that well this this episode, but you know what? It was fun. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's funny to see uh, how long it takes for Hollywood to uh, to make movies. That's the that's sort of my takeaway of this, which is, you know, anytime you see like what was it, the the emoji movie that came out not that long ago, like a few years ago, uh, and every everything in it, like all of the apps and all the things that they make fun of in it, are all dated. Sure. We're, we're all dated by the time it, it came out, and it's it's probably because that thing was written like four or five years earlier. It takes forever to make, yeah. Yeah, it just takes so long to go from like the scripting and the casting and then production. That, like everything's outdated by the time you know those movies come out. And, Indeed. I mean, are are people still like is is Borderlands still like a big hot franchise in gaming? Uh, it did okay with the third <laughs> one. Um, yeah, it was pretty yeah. pretty highly anticipated, but yeah. I don't know if it's uh, if people are clambering for a movie for it. Let's put it sure. That way. Well, you know what? It it has uh, it has a pretty good cast, so uh, hopefully it'll be good. Um, I still still don't know about Eli Roth as. I mean, that just, uh, whatever. All right, but we are at the end of another great episode. Thank God. <laughs> you know, you and I uh, will probably do better next week when we finally get into September, those episodes. Uh, so uh, we're not going to, let's not uh, belabor this. We did a good job, both of us. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next week. Say goodbye, Lauren. Goodbye, everybody. All right, we'll see you next week. Oh, Bye. and don't forget to tune in to Defunct uh, Games News tomorrow for a big announcement. Tune See in then. then. Forget all about this. Tune in then. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching this week's episode of Online Pass Replay. Oh, boy, it was a long one. If this is the kind of conversational quiz that you like to see, then you should know that we post new episodes pretty much every Saturday. Now, here's the question I have for you. How many answers did you get right? Also, we joked about it, but do you think we should post a quiz called something like, Cyril, do you remember reviewing this game? You know, it might actually be a lot of fun to go back and see how many games I actually remember reviewing, especially if we go all the way back to the early days in 2002 and 2003. 
Well, you know, let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. In other news, we have a massive announcement for this Sunday's episode of Defunct Games News. You definitely won't want to miss it. While you wait for that, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 